Join Kids Hat Family. Mmm. Mmm. These cookies are so yum. I can eat them forever. Tofu, have you ever imagined what if these cookies become alive? Alive? Hmm. This reminds me of a story. The Gingerbread Man. Long ago, there lived an old couple. One day, the old woman cooked a gingerbread cookie in the shape of a man. As soon as the gingerbread man was cooked, he jumped out of the tin and ran out of the open window, shouting, "Don't eat me!" He ran away as fast as he could. The old couple tried to chase the gingerbread man. but he was too fast for them soon a hungry pig saw the gingerbread man and said stop i would like to eat you he too joined the chase the gingerbread man was too fast and said You can't catch me. I am the gingerbread man. A little further, a hungry cow saw the gingerbread man and said, "Stop. I would like to eat you." She too joined the chase. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Next, he met a horse. The horse too joined the chase. Finally, the gingerbread man came to a river and stopped. as the river could make him soggy a clever fox came by and wanted to eat him up but he pretended to be nice and offered help to the gingerbread man he asked the gingerbread man to climb on his head so that he could take him across the river The gingerbread man was so scared of water that he agreed. As soon as they reached the other side, the fox tossed up the gingerbread man in the air. He opened his mouth and ate him up. That was the end of the gingerbread man. <laughs> I don't want my cookies alive and get eaten by a wolf. Ha ha ha. Enjoy your cookies, Tofu. Good night, Tofu. Once upon a time, there lived a lonely couple who only wished to have a child. They lived in a little house all on their own. 
At the back of the house, there was a small little window from which a splendid garden could be seen. This garden was full of very beautiful flowers and herbs. No one dared to enter the garden as it belonged to a witch named Dame Gothel. One day, the woman saw a plant called Rampion which is used to make salads. Dear husband, I have a strong desire to have a salad made out of that plant. Oh, but that belongs to the wicked witch. Oh, please do something. I really want to eat those rampions. Okay, dear. I will try to get it for you. At midnight, the husband climbed the wall into the garden of the witch. and started taking some rampions. The man took the rampion and his wife made a salad out of it and ate it. But the very same night there was a knock on the door and the man knew something was wrong. How dare you human come into my garden and steal my rampions like a thief. You will suffer for it. Oh, please forgive me. My wife saw your rampions from the window and she wanted it so bad that I could not say no to her. Oh, if that's the truth, then I will let you have as many rampions as your wife wants, but only on one condition. What is that condition? You must give me the child which your wife will bring into this world. The man in his terror consented to everything. As time passed by, the couple gave birth to a beautiful little baby girl. But that very same night, the witch came to their door and took away the baby girl, leaving the poor parents in complete sorrow. You are such a beautiful looking girl. I will name you Rapunzel and take care of you. Ha 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 ha! The witch kept her locked in a tower with no doors and stairs, but just a small little window. As the time passed by, Rapunzel grew into a beautiful girl with very long golden locks. But her beauty went in vain because the cruel witch never allowed her to go anywhere. Sad Rapunzel just used to stand at the little window and sing sad songs. When the witch had to visit Rapunzel, she used to ask Rapunzel to let down her hair. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. One day, when Rapunzel was standing at the window singing sad songs, a very handsome prince was passing by. He stopped and looked here and there to see where this beautiful voice was coming from. Oh, what a beautiful song! Who is singing so beautifully? The prince noticed the beautiful voice coming from the tower. He wanted to climb the tower and looked for the door, but could not find one. He went back home in dismay. But Rapunzel's singing had touched his heart so much that every day 
he started going to the forest to listen to Rapunzel's song. One day, he was standing behind the tree when he saw the witch coming. And he heard what she said. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair to me. Then Rapunzel let down her long beautiful hair. And the witch climbed up the tower. Oh, that's the way to climb up to the tower. I shall do the same. The next day, when it began to grow dark, he went to the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let your hair down to me. Immediately the hair fell down and the prince climbed up. Oh, who are you? Oh Lord, you are the most beautiful maiden that I have ever seen in my life. I have lost my heart to you. Will you marry me? Will you be my wife and live with me in my kingdom? Oh my prince, I wish that was possible. But the witch won't let me go out of this tower. And if she comes to know about you, she will kill you. I don't care. You are coming with me now. Come on, let's go. Oh Prince, I am ready to go away with you. But I do not know how to get down. If I let down my hair, then how will I get down? You are right. Mm. You have to go now. The witch will come soon. Yes, don't worry Rapunzel. I will think of something and come back tomorrow. That moment, when the prince was climbing down the tower, the witch saw him. Oh, so he wants to take Rapunzel away. They both will have to pay for this. The witch climbed the tower after asking Rapunzel to let down her hair. You treacherous girl! How could you even think of betraying me? You shall pay for this. The witch took a big pair of scissors and chopped off her long beautiful tresses. Rapunzel was left all alone in the desert by the witch to live in grief and misery. Meanwhile, the prince returned the next evening to take Rapunzel away. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The wicked witch let down the long braid that she had chopped off from Rapunzel's hair and the prince climbed the tower without knowing what danger was awaiting him. When the prince was about to enter the window, the wicked witch chopped off the braid just to see the prince fall off the tower into the thorny bushes under the tower. The prince started bleeding from his eyes as the thorns blinded him completely. <laughs> the witch cast a spell on the prince and he wandered in woods around the world without any sight and survived in poor conditions. Meanwhile, the prince roamed about in misery for two years and finally he got to the desert where Rapunzel was left by the witch. La, la, la. He suddenly heard the beautiful sad voice of his beloved and started shouting in excitement. That voice! That voice! Is it you, Rapunzel? Is it really you? He went towards it 
and when he approached Rapunzel said Oh prince you finally found me I missed you so much I am so happy to see you that I can't stop crying Two of her tears fell on his eyes and they grew clear again and he could see with them as before I can see again Oh my sweet Rapunzel what have they done to us Let's go back to my kingdom He took her to his kingdom After a year Rapunzel gave birth to a pretty little baby girl who looked just like her and they lived happily ever after Get up tofu Or you'll get late for school Get up tofu Ha Dia you <laughs> What happened That that was <laughs> Yeah yeah I know I know that was me in your dream Now get up and get ready For your favorite rhymes stories and more join Kids Hat family subscribe here